Okay, so I was gonna finish up my jean and get her to 90 today, but then I realized that it's the weekly reset and so I saved up some resin yesterday so I could clear all five of the bosses. Actually, I've been waiting on my bed for my resin to fill up just a little bit more because I was close to cap and I was just waiting so I could make sure that I could do all of them all at once because I do like doing these all in one go so I can spend the rest of my resin weekly on whatever else I want and also so I don't forget to do them on the other days. Anyways, as always, <laughs> I'm starting with Senora, and I don't really need anything other than Sarah's materials and maybe some Dream Solvent or some prototypes because I haven't gotten one in a bit. I think I still need a bow prototype. I don't need Catalyst prototypes anymore, but I need a bow prototype. So what I mainly wanted to talk about today is why I'm still pulling for Albedo even after losing the 50-50 to Jean. And if you guys didn't know, I pulled on the Albedo banner while I, I was on 75 pulls, so I knew in the next 10 pull I would get a 5 star. But it was 50-50 because I think my last my last one was Raiden Shogun for sure. Raiden so Shogun C3. So ever since that banner, I've been saving up. Hoping for Albedo or Yaimiko to come. Whoever came first, that's what I pulled for. So I pulled for Albedo, got Jean. I'm building her right now. But I'm still going to keep pulling on him even after all of these character leaks and the abilities of the upcoming characters because one, I want someone to use the Cinnabar Spindle. I think it's a broken ass event weapon. And I do want to test it. I kind of feel bad that I leveled up. Uh, Harbinger of Dawn to level 70 and then they released this weapon and two I've been waiting for this rerun forever now and I have a feeling that he won't be coming back anytime soon he's also a character that I don't have any pre-farmed artifacts for except for the defense sands I have on Noel it's an off piece it's very decent but it's still usable on him you know or any materials prepared for him so he'll be a fresh unit that I can spend my time farming again as you guys know, the content in this game has been dry. Like, really dry the past few patches. So, this allows me to have someone to build in the game. Uh, I can also... I mean, that's also kind of why I've been having a good time trying to build Jean. I'm gonna go get her a fresh artifact set. Like, a good 4-piece Veridescent. Because all of the 4-piece Veridescent ones I have are EM pieces that I use on like Zucros and Kazo. And I want like, I want, I'm gonna build your crit, so yeah. Okay, get back to the point. Um, getting Albedo would also allow me to farm for the new artifact set. And since it's the new artifact set, I can also farm for the healing one, which I kinda wanna test out on Chi Chi. I haven't touched her since 1.2 when I got Diona from uh, Child's Original Manor. So, getting Albedo would effecti effectively give me like two new characters, like two quote unquote new characters to work on. Because my, my end goal in this game is to eventually get everyone to talent level 999. And. Have them all have like decent builds, like everyone has like really really good endgame build and I can use whoever I want with their own weapons, with their own artifact sets. I don't really like switching different characters artifact sets with each other. Like if I have an animal goblet on Zhao and I use Jean also. I don't wanna have to switch um, Zhao's cup to Jean and vice versa because just in case I'd ever want to use them together. They'd all have their own separate builds. So yeah. My goal is to max every character out in the game. That's also partly the reason why I still do these... Um, these weekly bosses. Even if some might say it's not worth it anymore. I do them because... One, these are like the only source. It's, it's not very efficient. But this is the copium me talking about how these are the only source for steady glad or wonders pieces because I use all of the remaining extra pieces I have on artifact strongbox noblesse pieces. Like ever since Inazuma came out, I think I've farmed the emblem 
domain almost exclusively. Threats. And I've spent over Order well over thirteen thousand resin in that domain, I think, with including all the fragiles and everything. So all of the extra ones that I don't really use go into the strong box. And all of the strong box pieces become noblesse pieces. Which I've gotten like two or three good ones in the past two to three months. Yeah, having a new character or Albedo, who I really wanted to use. Also, he's practical in my Zhao comp because Zhao uses Zhongli and there isn't really a good fourth slot there. I use Noel, but then she takes so much field time to do her damage that it's almost not worth it for Zhao teams. And with Albedo, Zhongli, and Jean on my Zhao team, I think this dream, a quote unquote dream comp of mine is finally gonna be real when I do get Albedo. So I, that's why I'm still going for And having that fresh experience of building characters, like... Um, I think I've been burnt out on artifact farming, like way burnt out on artifact farming. Like I've made sure that all of my weapons are 90, all of my characters are at least level 70 or 80. And I try to build them so their talent levels are at least level 8. Um, like there's specific like certain ones like some five stars like uh, Red and Shogun I 90, Zhao I 90, Child I 90. Like the characters I really like playing, I, I get them to like 89 and then try to naturally get their XP through the world because I walk around the world a lot, whatever. And most of them are just sitting at 70. But yeah, I've been trying to not artifact farm so much because that's what builds me the most in this game. And yeah, just, just building units and maxing them out to see how much damage they can do even if they're not that good is one of my favorite things to do in this game. Might do some of the challenges, like if you guys know Valk. The reason why I pulled for one of the reasons why I pulled for Zhao. He now does this thing where he doesn't use artifacts in the overworld. And I thought that was a good idea, but I don't think I have the the characters required for that challenge. With that I mean constellation wise. Because I don't have C6 five star everything. Or R5 weapons. But I thought of doing something like that. So I think for this next abyss, I'm only limiting myself to using five characters i'll be using five characters for both sides no so this is five characters that i can enter this is five characters that i can interchange but i can only use these five and i'm gonna try to clear abyss i'm not trying to 36 start I'm trying to clear abyss with just five characters and without using their best weapons that sounds like torture and probably is but i still want to try it and i'm gonna do that on stream maybe if my internet cooperates with me Overall, I think this week, sorry, I'm going back to that topic, but that's basically my point. I want new characters, um, experience building them again, that's it. I think overall this was a dub because I did get a bow prototype, which I wanted, and two dream solvent, which I can't complain about. Didn't get any good artifacts, unfortunately. So yeah, tomorrow, uh, we'll go back to the gene building. I think I have enough next. Tomorrow, I think I'll have enough next time I have 40 resin to farm one more boss, one more animal hypostasis so I can get her to that 80 out of 90. Try to get her to like as high a level as possible since I want to do some stuff with uh, the skill, lifting enemies and stuff. But yeah, you guys made it this far into the video. Don't forget to use your parametric transformer. I forgot to use it. This has been up for like 5 days now. And there's actually a character I like using 
It's not Mono or Ayaka. But it's actually Sayu. <laughs> she does it, I think. I think Sayu does it the fastest. If I can hit it. If I can hit it. If. Okay. If I can hit it, she does it the fastest. Oh, never mind. But yeah. Don't forget your parametric transformer. Uh, yeah, that's it. See ya.